Hey guys, it's Alex. I'm here with a review for the last book I read, which is The Nazi Officer's Wife, How One Jewish Woman Survived the Holocaust by Edith Hahn Beer with Susan Dworkin. This is a memoir about Edith Hahn Beer, who was a U-boat, which is to say a Jewish person who survived the Holocaust in Nazi territory by pretending to be a German. She was born in Vienna, Austria, and lived there through her childhood and young adulthood up until the German occupation of Austria during which she was in law school and she never fully completed law school because as a Jew when she showed up to take her final exam to become a doctor of law she was disbarred and not allowed to enter. The book starts from her childhood and covers up through her entire life but it focuses most on her young adulthood starting right when the Germans started occupying Austria and up until the point where the war ended and the Russians occupied Berlin. I think of all the books I've read thus far in Nazi Germany, this has been the most touching and the most heartbreaking, which isn't to say the others haven't been heartbreaking, but I think a lot of the emotion from this book comes from the fact that it is a first-person account. Most of the books I've read have also been non-fiction, but they've been told through research. For example, Daniel Mendelssohn's The Lost, which is about him and his family and his life, but most of it's done through research and like what he's learned. This book is told all from her own experiences and the documents that she saved because she saved a great many documents during the war and a lot of those are currently on display at the Holocaust Museum in DC. But there was so much more to this book that you can't really have in a research book no matter how well you research it. At some point there are going to be things that you can't necessarily learn about through research. There are going to be like missing links and missing sections of people's lives and there's nothing you can really do about that but in this book like she had everything everything that she experienced but also her friends and there was never anything that it felt like she should have known something even even the things that she didn't know and couldn't know it still felt like the story was very complete which i think is very difficult for books about jewish people in nazi germany just because there are so few records and it's so hard to find out what happened to people a lot of this book was incredibly emotional, which is pretty par for the course for any books about Jews in Nazi Germany because it's all so heartbreaking. But this book in particular, just the way she described things hit me very hard. There was one line in the book where I just stopped and it's a quote that I wanted to read, even though I don't usually read quotes in reviews. This line honestly just like, I stopped reading for about 10 or 15 minutes after because it was just like I couldn't continue. I needed to just like let everything sink in. It's fairly early on, before before the concentration camps, when she was still living in the ghetto with her mother, before she got sent away to do hard labor, before she became a U-boat and took her friend's identity. And even though it is early on, before a lot of the horrors happened, it's something that I felt like really just hit me so hard and brought everything home, which was the point of this this small section. Once, after the Anschluss, I was stopped by a policeman for jaywalking. He ordered me to pay a stiff fine. But I am Jewish, I said. That was all he needed to hear to know I was penniless and could not possibly pay, and he let me go. So you see, when they tell you that they did not realize how the Jews were being despoiled, you must never believe them. They all knew. There were a lot of powerful lines like that in this book, but even above all of them. That just hit me really hard. She really doesn't pull any punches with this, as she shouldn't. She's very critical of German society without being like just full of hatred for them, which would be justified if she were. But she's very honest. She's very straightforward and blunt with how she feels and how people let this happen and were okay with this happening to the Jews. And something else that was really sad in this that you don't get so much in research books from third-party authors is that her personality changed so much. This book started when she was a very young child and like when she first heard the radio and when she was all excited and in school and eager and bright and ready to learn. And she never lost that entirely, but as time went on you could see how drastically living in fear and having to hide herself changed her personality. Like even towards the end when she says she finally became herself again. Like you can you can see how much more muted she is. That was truly heartbreaking to me more than anything else. Like, I mean, not more than anything else, but that was something that was just so personal because you could watch this woman's change from the, the very outgoing, very extroverted teenager who 
talked her father into letting her go not only to high school, but to university and to law school, to becoming the woman who would do anything for her husband and basically became her husband's slave because she was so afraid that he would turn her in for being Jewish if she upset him. And she even talks about, at the very beginning, in like the prologue kind of, she talks about how she needs to be pushed to talk about these things because of all those years of hiding. Her instinct is to shut up and be quiet and keep it in and pretend to be like the naive, dumb country girl who's never been educated, who she was pretending to be to hide her real self. That permanent change to her being was really, really heartbreaking. One thing that really stuck out to me about the book and not necessarily the story was just how well written it was. Because a lot of memoirs aren't necessarily well written, even when they have a ghostwriter or they're co-written, as this is with Susan Dworkin. But this, the writing was just so lovely and I really enjoyed reading it. It was very simple and very basic, but still very compelling without without being obtrusive. Like it never distracted from Edith Hanbeer's narration. A lot of it just felt like she was talking to you and she was telling you directly the story because it was very, the way the words flowed was very simple. It was an easy narration and I thought it was very beautifully done. I would highly recommend reading this book. I gave it four stars and it is an amazing book to read. It's really very short. It's only about 300 pages and this is a very, this is a rather small book. So 300 pages in a small book is not very long. And it goes by so quickly. Like if you're trying to get in to a little bit of nonfiction or you'd like to read a memoir or you're interested in Nazi Germany at all, I think this is would be a really easy book to start with because it does read more like a novel than a well-researched straight nonfiction book. It's very subjective and it tells a story. And I do think a lot of people would really enjoy reading this. My only very small critique was that it felt like it went by rather fast at times. I did mention that it's a fairly short book, it's only 300 pages, and I felt like it could have been a little longer and it probably would have been better for that. Some of the sections went by very very quickly it felt like, especially towards the end. The Russians were occupying Berlin and she was dealing with them and realizing that this could be a second Nazi Germany for her. That part felt like it was very quick. I didn't have time to like breathe or take it in it felt like, but that is a very small thing. Like. I did really love this book. I would highly recommend it. This is a book that I can see myself rereading at some point or possibly even buying because I finished this book and it was like, I don't want to return this to the library. This is something I want for my collection. This is something I want to be able to reread whenever I want. It was just so unbelievably good. I just, I highly, highly recommend this. That's going to be it for this review. Let me know down below if you read this book and if you enjoyed it as much as I did. I always love to hear your guys' thoughts on the books that I read. Bye.